In this lesson, I want to explain the bridge uh, <coughs> tool. In it, here, you can add to the mesh menu, add and bridge, or you can right click if you are in a component mode, it's very important, air bridge here, or the tool is here. If you are in a model mode, you cannot see it. If you go in the edge, <coughs> surface and edge mode, you can see the better mode for bridging is edge and the surface. For example, we bring it from the edge. As you can see, the bridge is here. If you select the bridge, we have most important sitting here. Uh, in the default, the subdivision surface is in a zero and the tension for curving bridge is zero. For example, I want to bridge these edges to the data edges. <coughs> you can simply, you have to first you go into the edge mode. You, you have to first select the edges that you want to bridge holding shift and select. You have to specify the software which edges do you want to bridge, create a bridge between them. And after that, you can simply click and drag. And as you can see, a bridge will be happening here. Another interesting thing here, you can change the subdivision surface, the subdivision of them here. And the most important thing is the tension. You can change the curve of the objects. Interesting. You can add any, uh, subdivision here okay interesting <clears throat> and I want to continue this for example I want to uh, bridge this edge that follow this path so here is a restricted selection it's, it means it, it's restricted selection that's very important tick that or if you want you can untick that with the that subdivision and tension this is most important sitting here is a patch mode. The patch mode, as you can see, uh, you have to first deselect the exit the tool, bridge again to avoid that some issues. And then you have to activate the patch mode and something like happen. As you can see, all of the, these edges and these edges will be connected. Four. <coughs> situation like this you have to activate one patch one sided patch mode it's automatically detected this patch and if you click and drag it follow that patch okay you can do it again and simply oh, oh, as you can see you can uh, bridge two to the one bridge simply click and drag after that and that's it okay <coughs> If the one-sided patch and uh, this patch mode is active, if you, for example, want to select it, if you want to select these uh, uh, edges to each other, if you select, click and drag here, as you can see, it cannot define this because it is in a one-sided patch and it detected this uh, topology to follow. For, uh, for uh, the software that connect this curve to the that straight line you have to deactivate the one patch option and as you can see it's automatically uh, connected these edges and this edge to each other okay so understand it and you can deactivate it to something like this okay and it's like also here you can use for example in this door for example, if you want to the software follow exactly this patch, you have to select a bridge again, patch mode, and the one sided. If you click and drag, it's automatically uh, created that. But we have, oh, we have, uh, oh, be, be, because of the tension, okay, it's very important. Uh, we have to, first it's normal, okay. I make them zero and uh, patch mode. If you select a patch mode, as you can see, it's automatically connected to all two together. It's a, this issue is caused the normal that you can fix it. It's not important. Select here and here and then select click and drag. It's automatically doing for you. Okay, or you can with a close polygon hold you can do it or simply you can connect the uh, surf, uh, surface to each other you can select for example uh, these surfaces from here first you have to select them to co oh, 
two corresponding surface here it's very simple select them going to the bridge tool again make them subdivision and a little tension tension and we are in normal mode not as you can see if you're going to the surface mode we have not patch and after that you can simply click and drag to this mode to the, just click and drag it. it's done automatically for you as you can see uh, and i want to explain the normal if you select the separate uh, control as you can see this is an a start bridge to the end bridge if you want to if you want to select both mode for both a start and the end bridge you can uh, untick the separate controls here you can flip the tension if you want the um, surf the mode is a normal as you can see the normal of this surface is in this direction so the bridge exactly this direction if you want to this uh, uh, another topology you can for example uh, change it to the normal average as you can see it's bridge like this that is more i want like this it's average and normal and as you can see it does not go in this direction okay the normal is in this direction does not go okay and here you can specify the curve of that and the subdivision so another this surface and the normal and surface average look at this image it's very simple for example we want to bridge between this uh, mm, sphere to the that and then most important thing that is I select all of them as you can see if you go in the model mode the, this object is separate from this object you can do it separate select them going to the for example surface and for example I want to bridge uh, this edge to the that edge right click and bring the bridge and as you can see uh, this is a normal of the surface that edge you can simply click and drag between them and connect them okay or you can uh, or you can right click as I said before and connect and delete them or you can use the uh, connect and delete to the one object if you select the one object you can connect between them so in a bridge you can connect two objects that are separate or one object okay this is an start and this is an end of the bridge if you select the surface mode in a start and the surface mode in the end it looks like this if you select the surface at the start and the surface average it looks like this you can i don't want to explain the mathematical thing behind that but change the mode to see what you want yeah i explained this before as you can see for example you can start and end bridge like this and for normal average it's average and normals but if you don't average normal it's as you can see this curve because of the this normal or for example this surface in this direction so go the bridge go exactly the along the normal and uh, another uh, interesting uh, sitting is here is uh, a spin steps Control Z. Uh, as you can see, this is an uh, I go into the uh, option and activate the polygon normals, and this is the normal of this polygon. So the bridge go exactly in this direction. Okay, so you can make it average. For example, click here to deselect. Uh, I want to, for example, select. Oh, sorry. It's very interesting you can for example bridge between this and this click and drag okay it's very simple going to the first you have to select uh, the desired bridge deselect first this is the normal direction and go into the option and turn off the polygon normal and i want to bridge these polygons to each other and select a bridge simply click and drag it's done everything for you and here you can spin your bridge 
very simple you can spin or reverse it it's very simple that's it okay this is a bridge and it's very it has very interesting sitting here you can separate the start and the end and as you can see it's a surface to the surface or normal to surface you can change any topology with start and end it or you can flip them if you want okay as you can see okay this is a bridge hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release